What's going on everyone? It is Super here and I'm bringing you this video to talk about a real life story. I know you guys really enjoy these. The last one that I did actually went down insanely well was uh, the story of how I lost my virginity. I'll leave that in the description if you guys have, uh, you know, for some reason missed it. Make sure you guys go check it out because I got an overwhelmingly positive response on that video it was fucking great man a lot of people really enjoyed the story so make sure you guys go check it out uh but today i'm bringing you guys a little quickie a little quickie story that i just actually remembered a couple weeks ago and i just uh, you know hadn't had a time to make this video until now but this story happened in third grade third grade little kid and uh, I think this was about the time when I was starting to, you know, really get to liking girls and stuff. And my dad had like, I've talked about this before. My dad had a stash of like uh, Playboy magazines, stuff like that. And, you know, me and my friends would, oh my God, I just choked that clip right there. But me and my friends would, um, you know, sneak into the stash and take a peek and stuff because it was about that age where we were you know starting to get curious and stuff especially about you know women uh naked girls stuff like that we just wanted to see and at this time man i don't remember what year it was when i was in um third grade but the struggle to get any type of you know porn was fucking real like it was so hard it was pretty much just playboy and it was magazines and stuff that obviously uh, were sold to only adults. So, you know, you couldn't just hop on your laptop, go to Pornhub and search up, you know, fucking thousands and thousands of videos, pictures and stuff like that. It was a fucking struggle when I was younger. So, you know, even even, um, you know, there were these uh, channels on cable TV that were like all distorted and stuff where they would give. Uh, like dirty movies and stuff that that was really popular back in the day as well trying to get the picture to be as clear as possible and a lot of you guys probably have no fucking clue what I'm talking about because I know you guys are younger but you guys who are around my age you guys know exactly what I'm talking about but you know besides that I got you know carried away a little bit off track but back to the actual story so like I said my dad had a stash I got into it one day uh, I had a friend called Danny and he told me that his dad had, you know, a stash and stuff and that he had like a huge collection of uh, dirty magazines, you know, just naked girls and stuff. Nothing, nothing too, you know, hardcore or anything like that. It was just naked girls. And I told him to bring it, uh, bring one of the magazines once. That was bad idea right there. As soon as that happened, you know, the story's going to go south, right? So I told my friend to bring one of his dad's and I was going to bring one of mine, which uh, I chose like a, a simple Playboy, like a little thin cover Playboy one. And what this dude brought the next day was like a fucking dictionary sized Playboy magazine or not a Playboy magazine, just a magazine with a collection of fucking naked girls. And, you know, I told him to chill with that one, like not to bring it out or anything like that because it was too big to hide anywhere. So I took mine out. I hid mine in between, um, like under my shirt. Uh, I stuck it like halfway into my pants and stuff so it could, uh, so my shirt could cover it. And of course, the retarded little kid that I was, you could obviously see that I had like a book size shape coming, uh, sticking out of my shirt. So the first thing that happened when I tried to sneak out this magazine was my teacher was standing at the door because he was you know letting us go to lunch and of course he saw it and he's like what do you have there and i'm like oh nothing and i try to like walk forward a little bit fast and then he stopped me uh his hand you know on my on my stomach stomach and stuff and he felt the magazine and i had to take it out in front of the whole class like the whole class saw that i had this fucking playboy magazine and i was trying to sneak it out to lunch so that me and my friend could take a peek at it and of course you know the teacher did what any teacher would do he stopped me and my friend i think my friend actually didn't listen to me and took out this fucking dictionary size uh, magazine and he was hiding it better than i was because i couldn't see it and my dumbass seriously what inspired me to try to hide the playboy magazine like under my shirt where you could clearly see that i had like a book um and you know the teacher was obviously gonna ask questions uh but regardless you know the teacher stopped us uh you know we stayed in the class for lunch and he let everyone else out he went to you know the principal's office reported it and we had to go wait outside of the principal's office until he called us in and you know he was really cool about it actually um you know i was 
I think I was crying. I don't remember, man. Uh, it was third grade. I knew I was going to get my ass whooped by my dad because I fucking took one of his magazines without him knowing. Not only that, but I brought it to school like a, I don't know, like a dumb little kid that I was. And yeah, so that, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, the, like I said, the principal is actually pretty fucking cool. All he did was call our parents letting them know what happened he did not suspend us or anything like that we actually uh you know went back to school the next day and uh yeah everything worked out really well of course i learned my lesson i never took anything like that to school ever again it was just a really stupid thing uh by you know little kids who didn't know any better so yeah that's gonna be it guys i hope you enjoyed this little quick story more to come in the future if you guys want and i uh, will see you guys later